Hey guys, this is me Padma from Programmies and welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we'll learn about the ternary operator which can be used to replace if else statement in certain situation to make our code look cleaner. So, let's get started. Let's start with syntax of ternary operator. On the screen, you can see the basic structure of ternary operator. The ternary operator starts with the test condition. Like x is less than 0 or name equals to Padma or any other boolean expression that evaluates to true or false. If this test condition results in true, this first expression before the colon is executed. And if the test condition is false, then the second expression after the colon is executed. Here you can see there are three operands, hence the name ternary operator. Now you know the syntax of ternary operator, let's see an example. Here you can see the basic C program. Now I'll create an int variable is and assign value 15 to this. Then I'll create a ternary operator with the condition is is greater than or equals to 18. And if this condition is true, I'll print you can vote. So print f inside quotation, I'll put you can vote. And if that condition is false, I'll print you cannot vote. So I'll end this statement with a semicolon. Now let me run this code. As you can see, you cannot vote is printed here. Is is equals to 15. So this condition becomes 15 is greater than or equals to 18, which is false. So this print statement after the colon is printed on the screen. Now let me change this value from 15 to 24. Now this condition becomes 24 is greater than or equals to 18 which is true. So this print statement before the colon should be executed. Now let's run this code. As expected we get you can vote as output. Here we have used print statement as expression inside the ternary operator. However we can also store value from ternary operator to a variable and use the variable later. Let's see an example. I'll remove this line and create a char variable called operator and I'll, I'll assign plus to this. Then I'll create an integer variable num1 and I'll assign a value a to this and I'll create another int variable int num2 and I'll assign value 7 to this. Now I'll cut this turned operator and start with a new condition and I'll check if operator is equals to plus and if this condition is true i'll add num1 with num2 and i'll add colon here and if this condition is false i'll subtract num2 from num1 so num1 minus num2 this expression are returning some value so i'll assign this turning operator to a variable say, say int result and I'll print this variable using printf statement printf inside quotation I'll use percent d format specifier and the name of the variable that is result I'll run this code and you can see we get 15 as output which is the sum of 8 and 7 here the operator is equals to plus so this condition is true and addition is performed between num1 and num2. Depending upon your requirement, you can either print values directly or assign value to a variable from a ternary operator. However, if you plan to use values later in the program, it's a good idea to store value in a variable. By the way, if you are watching this, there is a good chance you want to improve your skills in C programming. Lucky for you, we have a mobile app that provides a well-structured C programming course with certification at the end and you can use the app alongside the video to practice on the built-in compiler. Our course is free, so download now by scanning this QR code or click the link in the video description. In some of the cases, we can replace the if-else statement with a ternary operator. This will make our code cleaner and shorter. Let me show you an example. On your screen, you can see a program that checks if you can vote or not using the if-else statement on the right and ternary operator on the left. Both the program are doing the same tasks 
and checking if a person can vote or not. And you can see the use of ternary operator has made our code cleaner and shorter. In such programs where we need to do a single tax inside the if else statement, we can use the ternary operator in a place of if else. However, if there are multiple lines of code inside the if else statement, we should never replace that with the ternary operator. This will make our code more confusing and messy. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Now to revise what we have learned, here is one programming task for you to solve. Can you create a program to check whether a number is odd or even to create this program, create a variable named number and assign a value to it. Then using a ternary operator, check if the number variable is odd or even. If the number is odd, print the number is odd and if the number is even, print the number is even. You will find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository. Also, if you want to revise the concept, you can find all this program there. The link is in the video description. Now that we are at the end of this video, it's time for programming quiz. What is the correct ternary equivalent of the following if else statement? Comment your answer below. See you on the next video. Happy programming.